and welcome to this episode of Psychic Medium Tony G, where I incorporate many different venues to bring you the greatest show possible. We're using Blog Talk Radio along with WSCS, Spreaker, iTunes, iHeart, you name it, Google, we're there, trying to bring you the absolute best show we can. So today I'll be taking callers, answering their questions, and helping them to understand the path that they're on, answering questions about career, life, love, finances, whatever it is that they call about. If you are a caller and I call out your area code, please let me know where your first name, where you're calling from, and then your question. And if you want to make a connection to the love to a loved one on the other side, um, the, the person that you would like to make that connection to. One question or one connection, please, because the phone lines are full and I want to make sure that I have the opportunity to get to as many people as possible today. So we're going to get started right away with the first caller. I'm so excited about this. We're going to go to caller 202. I think we are. Hold on. There we go. Hello, 202. How are you today? Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely. My pleasure. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Kay, and I'm calling from Brooklyn, New York. Nice. Hello, New York. So how can I help you today, Kay? Um, I was just calling for you to read into, I had an ex come back, um, but not quite fully. So I want to see what you pick up on that for um, future husband. Yeah. You know what I'm... I'm I know that it's always nice and it's very comfortable to have an ex come back sometimes, but I instantly hear the song from Frozen, and I, I want to apologize to everybody because I think we just got this song out of our head, but let it go, let it go. Um, this is going to end the same way it did before. There's going to be a little bit of tragedy and drama involved in this. It's up to you how long you want to take this down the road, how far you want to go with this. Uh, he's not all in. Whatever he was in didn't quite work out. So he's, he's doing that fallback thing like, oh, this didn't work out, so now I'm going to fall back on what I know, where I felt good, get, my, get myself back together, feeling good again, and then... And then I'll, you know, when I feel good again and I'm a peacock and my feathers are all spread, then I can, you know, have my confidence and do what I'm going to do again. I want to tell you right now, like I said, you have the choice to take this as far and as long as you want, but there is something much, much better for you. As a matter of fact, the second week or the third week of August, which we, I believe, are in the second week, um, nearing the end of the second week, you are going to have the potential to meet three new people. So over the next week, week and a half, and then over the next month, you have the possibility, the potential, to meet three new really good suitors. You meet them spontaneously, you meet them out in public, and you have the potential to make one of them, and I feel like it's the third one, um, a very long lasting relationship. Now I'm gonna tell you, you do have to be out and about and you have to kind of shake off the old. I love this song by Halsey. Um, it, said I, it says, I keep a record of the wreckage of my past. And what I like to say is that is wreckage from my past that I am so letting go of because who wants wreckage, right? Uh, okay. History okay. repeats itself. So let's not let this history repeat itself. Let's move on as strong and powerful way knowing you're the blessed, beautiful being that you are. And let's get into that Base where you are open to brand new, brilliant, beautiful opportunities with people who are on your level, people who are looking for what you're looking for, 
new starts can always be invigorating and beautiful and bring a lot of new experiences with them. Your angels are asking you to definitely um, release what didn't work and move forward into, into the unknown, if you will. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. And I know that it's comfortable, but let's be uncomfortable to get into something good, right? Let's, let's get out there, let's tear down our fears, or let's go past our fears, and get into something new. Now, him coming back, that should give you the confidence in knowing that, yeah, I was good, but I also am better than this, okay? Does that make sense to you? It does. It was just like um, I ran into him out of nowhere. We broke up 10 years ago, and it was sort of like he professed all of these things. And, um, yeah, so it was just like, well, and I guess it is just that comfort of, you know, the magic that I used to know. Yeah, yeah. It can never be new again. And before you know it, yeah. the Isha will start coming out, and that's not what we want. It's always nice to try something new, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the week. Thank you. I want, if I can listen? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I actually, I'm going to come back to you. I'm sorry. What were you saying, if I can listen? <laughs> oh, if I can listen to the show um, on the phone. I'm not sure if I can hold on and listen to it. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to disconnect you. You can listen to the rest of the show, and thank you for asking that. Absolutely. Okay. No, thank you for coming back. Sweetie. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm sorry I was going to go to the next caller so soon. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to go to 678. Six, six, Hello, 678. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Sandy, and I'm in Atlanta. Oh, hi. How are you today? Fine. How are you doing? Excellent. How can I help you today? Well, I just want to know. I've got too many, a lot of things going on around me. I'm just trying to get things a, a lot accomplished and I'm getting sidetracked by other people. And... I'm just wanting to know if if everything's going to come to an end here soon, and so I can get on with my life. You know. Okay, so what I'm getting here is um, that's your choice. Like you have to make you a priority, um, and you're kind of. I don't really know completely how to say this, but um, you're using this as an avoidance technique and it's time to get back into your life, let go of the drama, and move forward in a very passionate way about yourself and your life. Um, it's nice to be distracted or feel like you're helping other people, but it's better to be all in on you and working toward your goals? Does that make sense to you? Uh, yes. In, in a way it does, but you know, I've got you know, mother-in-law and father-in-law that are uh, elderly, and I'm try we're trying to get them situated uh, in such a way that my uh, brother-in-law doesn't take all the money and you know, leave them with nothing. Okay, so, okay, that's, now that's a completely different question. So what I'm going to tell you is, again, you have to make you a priority. You can't stop. There are some things we have control of and some things we don't. People are who they are. Leave this between the two brothers and take yourself out of it, okay? Don't end up being the bad guy. 
these two two brothers uh, have dealt with each other their whole lives. Put it in their lap. Let them take care of it. And don't get passionately involved in this. It will not turn out well in the end for you if you do. And if you choose to get passionately involved in it, try to take that medium ground without stating too many judgments about it. That's the best thing, the best advice that I can give to you. I hope you have an absolutely amazing week. And I hope that this information helped you greatly. And I'm going to go directly to the next caller, 773. Hello, 773. How are you today? Great. I'm just calling to see if there are any messages or anything. Okay. You need to be a little bit more direct than that. I don't have 20 minutes to, not that it would take me 20 minutes to get into your energy. Oh, okay. Give me a person you want a message from because there are a lot of people waiting and I, uh, when I'm on the phone doing uh, this, I need a direct person, uh, first name and the relationship, please. Um, Charles Gatt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he, has, he, he has this larger than life personality and fancied himself to be a little bit funny. He could do those one-offs. Such a huge character. Does, is that him? Yes. 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 Okay, so the first thing he says is, he, he starts it with, ah. He starts his sentence with, ah, I love you. Ah, but you already know that. And, and then he wants you to know that he's with you all the time. Stop thinking that you're so alone and that he is gone. That's the biggest message. I'm not gone, I'm not gone, I'm not gone. Don't dismiss me so easily. I'm with you oh, all the time. Sweet. Huh? That's sweet. Yeah. And then he wants to also tell you that he's going to be bringing you a gift. He's bringing you a gift, um, a monetary gift. Sometimes it's it's monetary. Sometimes it's something else. Um, he's going to be bringing you a monetary gift. And then he says the word small, small, small. He wants you to know it's just a token of appreciation. It's not going to set you up for life, but it'll, it'll be a little bit of extra change in your pocket, as he would like to say. And he wants you to know again that he loves you, he loves you, he loves you. There are no coincidences. Everything you're seeing and getting are right on track. Don't doubt for a minute. Uh, start paying better attention to those things and allow yourself to be in that space where you're all in on knowing he's riding in your passenger seat car. That's a, a different message. Those are two. Oh. Hey, be all in on knowing and he rides on the passenger seat of your car. Okay, those are two different messages. Okay. <laughs> he's over talking himself. <laughs> Which I love that. I hope this is helpful for you. Oh, sweet. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. And thank you so much for asking for a connection. I love making connections on the show. Love it. Thank you so much. Aww. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm going to go directly to the next caller. And the next caller is 860. <laughs> Hello, 860. How are you Hi. today? Hi. It, it, this is um, Susan. Hi, Susan. Where are you calling from? Can you have Connecticut. Hey, hey, Susan. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm, I'm kind of going through a, a very difficult time right now um, because there's been some accusations made against me and it's become legal during my job. So I'm wondering if um, these people will get away with what they're doing. No. No, nobody, here's the message I'm getting. Nobody is going to get away with what they're doing. Nobody involved is going to get away with what they're doing. Or um, this is very stressful for you. You're having a lot of complications. Things got out of control. You feel like there's a conspiracy going on. We're going to clear all of this, and I'm going to clear the complications, or not me, but the angels are. 
I want to tell you, you're going to have some difficulties over the next month, month and a half. But after that, everything should calm down and subside. You should start looking for another position, someplace where perhaps things are not so difficult for you. Okay, find a place where things are a little bit better, start over fresh, let go of the past, and move into a better environment, okay? Um, it seems as yeah. though this environment that you're in tends to have a lot of what they're calling cattiness or high school mentality. It's time for you to be in a more mature, more sophisticated environment, and when you get there, it's a fresh start for you also and do things differently, okay? Sure. That sounds beautiful. Does that? Um, and I feel like if, if you start looking now, yeah. within two weeks, you're going to have some really good potential new opportunity employment. Okay? Okay. Um, do you think this attorney that I'm going to see tomorrow will, you know, uh, represent me? I, uh, will okay. represent her? Yes, but there's, there's going to be... There's going to be like a little, uh, what they're calling a stick in it. I don't, like it's going to be stuck for a moment. You're not going to be able to completely move forward uh, as quickly as you would like to with this. Um, okay. This is, I it's feel okay like. You, it's okay. Because I'm being paid as a mouse. I might pay leave, so. Okay. So I'm not in any rush. But I still feel like you need to, to start actively pursuing a new position. And I feel like you okay. need to, uh, otherwise you'll have consequences if you don't look right away. You'll, if something, it, something's going to happen. Um, I'm not sure what, but all of a sudden everything will cut and you'll go, oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't expect that. So you need to be actively looking and whatever comes along that's very good for you, you need to take it. Don't think, oh, I'm, I'm on paid leave. This is vacay time. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That is well, not, that will smack you in the, that will smack you in the behind like you cannot even imagine. Right. You need to actively okay. be looking for something new. And you need to be very diligent, diligent about it. And you cannot tell anybody you're pursuing a new opportunity. Keep that information to yourself, even the attorney that you're going to be working with. And absolutely, when something good is offered to you, take it. Don't hesitate. It's time for you to move forward. You know, our angels give us many opportunities to move forward. And what you're in right now is like to, what I like to call by choice or by force. So we have a choice to move when things are not working out. And if we do not, they will force us out of a situation that is not healthy for us, that is not helping us grow in love and light. If we don't move forward, they will push us as hard as they can. Right now, sweetie, you are being pushed. You are being pushed into a better situation. There is just, there is no rejection. There is just protection. And you are being moved into a better place for you, okay? You know what hurts me the most? That um, I was going to retire in three years, and now I won't get the retirement from this place. Well, some, uh, sometimes there's a better plan, and you have to you have to cut your losses and move into the light. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry that All this right. isn't exactly what you want to know, but it's exactly what you need to know. Okay. No, it's, a, it's actually very. It's a good message. Thank you. You're so welcome. You are yeah. so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the week, and good luck with what you're going through, okay? Oh, thank you very much. You're so welcome. I'm going to go to the very next caller, who is, again, another 678 area code. Hello. How are you today? 
hello. I'm fine. So when I called um, the first... My name is Sonia. I'm sorry, what's your name, love? My name. Oh, my name is Sonia. Sonia, where are you calling from? Georgia. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, how can I help you today? Um... Uh, do you see a financial blessing coming my way soon? Yes. Okay, so I want to tell you something is coming your way. It is a financial um, gift. It's like a gift. It's, 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 it's finances coming in, but I do also need to tell you it's not as much as you think or want it to be, but it's going to be helpful. It's something that's coming in out of the blue. I cannot, I, um, I feel like it might come in like within the next three or four, I want to say months, but they want me to say weeks. I want to give it a little extra time. I don't want you to count on this money and then feel like, oh no, it didn't come. And again, I need to say it's not as much as you want it to be or you think it might be, but it will be very helpful at the time. Okay, it will give okay. you that little extra bit, but you got to keep going. It's it's it it's not lotto money, sweetie. <laughs> You're not going to be able to retire on this, <laughs> but you might be able to catch up in a few areas. I also want to tell you that after this, you really, really financially need to make a solid plan. You need to sit back and look at where are you spending money that you do not need to be spending. What can you hone back? What can you cut back? What can you change? Okay? Um, and and I, I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to admit it right here. I am. I refuse to pay for TV. I do. I think it's ridiculous. I, I, I shouldn't say that probably since I'm on TV right now. <laughs> but I, I am very, very cautious with any money I bring in. And plus, like as far as TV goes, if I paid for TV, I would never move from out in front of my TV. That's the God's honest truth. I wouldn't sleep. I'd have popcorn and 24-7 be watching all these shows that they offer. And I'm blushing because that is so, so true. It would be, it's a weakness. It would happen. I'd be up all night. I'd be sleeping until not at all, probably. That's like Vegas to me. You don't sleep in Vegas. I don't sleep if I have like all these channels. So what I want to tell you is it's time for you, <laughs> enough about that. It's time for you to look at what do I really need and what am I really wasting on and pull in on that, hone in on that, and then take that extra money and start hiding it or stashing it away. Okay, sweet girl? Okay. So it's, and I want to tell you, and this is another message coming in, and it's coming in from a gentleman on the other side. And he's saying, it's not about how much money you personally bring in, because no matter how much you bring in, it is spent pretty much as you get it or before you get it. And they are asking you to bring back your spending, hone back your spending, so that no matter what amount you bring in, you always have a little extra left over that you can hide away or stash away. Put it away for a rainy day. You'll be so happy how quickly the amounts add up and you can um, move ahead and actually have some really good stuff going on for yourself, okay? Okay, all right. Perfect. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. Thank you for listening, and thank you for calling in. Thank you. You are so welcome. I am going to go to 720. Hello, 720. How can I help you today? Yes, hi. Um, I'm just wondering what you see for a career for me. Okay, can you um, make that a more exact question for me? I just, I, I just 
want to see what my next career move is. Okay, so I need to tell you, you're my last caller and I only have a couple minutes, so the more exact, you, your next career move is very vague. Here's what I'll tell you about career. You need to be cautious in what you're doing. There's something coming in that's gonna catch you off guard. You're gonna get this move within the next month. You really, really, really need to be cautious. Um, does this concern finances? Yes, does this concern another person? No, okay. Career-wise, concerning finances, this might not be the message that you were thinking you were gonna get, but it is the message that they're giving right now. You really need to be cautious with your finances. There's something coming in, either there's going to be an amount going out. Okay, we're, we're not talking about career, I don't think. This is just finances. There's gonna be either be an unexpected amount going out or you're going to lose an amount that you think is coming in. They're saying be very, very cautious, watch your finances. Now when I hear this, what I normally understand this to be is anything could happen. Like sometimes you know how those people somehow get a, car, a hold of our credit card numbers and they're like spending like crazy until they get caught or like a major appliance or car. Just be, watch your finances is what I'm getting. Be extremely cautious with your finances over the next six weeks. Okay, sweetie? Okay. Does that, I hope. I don't even work, so I. I, I'm just gonna Thank tell you. you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know this might not be the message that you wanted, but it's absolutely the most important message that they could give you right now. There's something coming down the line. Sure about your finances, and you need to be very, very cautious um, for whatever that means for you. So every time you go to spend, check your account often, and, and uh, be frugal about things over the next six weeks, okay? Sure, okay. Excellent, you. you are so welcome. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. Okay. Thank you so much. I want to, first, before I say anything else, I want to say this is my newest book, um, What If, A Transformational Guide. I always have to read the title. That's so funny. Um, and it is available on Amazon.com along with all of my other books. And if you just Google my name, you'll be able to find it very easily. Also, every Monday at 1230, I host messages from above with Tony G. Actually, apparently, I don't know what time my show is. It's at noon. Uh, messages from above with Tony G. And I will be back doing Psychic Medium Tony G next month. Please uh, follow me on Blog Talk Radio or iHeart, whatever you're listening in on, and you will be notified of every single show, every single time. Thank you for joining me. It was a blessing to be able to help you today. Till next time.